Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Bethany or Budget Bethany and welcome to this week's What's For Dinner video. I like to share these every single week in hopes to give y'all some meal ideas to cook at home for your family as well. Up first, we're gonna be making this super easy quickest dinner you'll ever make for your family and it's just going to be some toasted meatball subs so i couldn't decide if i wanted to do subs or the sliders so i'm going to do a little bit of both so you'll need some sub rolls and some slider rolls some marinara sauce some mozzarella cheese and some frozen meatballs so to start with you'll just open up your buns or whatever you decide to do subs or sliders you'll cover those with marinara sauce then you'll top with your meatballs then you'll top with mozzarella cheese then you'll pop the tops back on them got some butter and some garlic powder mixed together and I didn't melt my butter all the way I wanted it just to be soft and I'm going to smear that over on all top of the buns and then we're going to bake that in the oven on 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes y'all so here is my plate once it's all plated up and i just got a salad on the side and it's just lettuce pepperonis cheese banana peppers and some french dressing but we're fixing to eat y'all on the next night we had my absolute favorite from this week and it's going to be cheesy mexican chicken and rice with mexican street corn so right here i've got my corn and i just got this corn from my local piggly weekly i'm just going to throw it in the pot and get to boiling it So I'm going to be making my rice homemade and you'll just need to drizzle some olive oil in a pot and you'll need to pour in two cups of long grain white rice. You just want to cook that on low and you want to make sure you keep it stirred so that it doesn't scorch because you're just going to be toasting it up right there in that pan. Then you're going to pour in a can of tomato sauce. Make sure your tomato sauce is mixed in really well and then I'm going to pour in two cups of water and then I'm going to throw in one of those chicken bouillon cubes but of course you could use chicken broth if you have it but I was out. Then you'll want to season up your rice and I'm going to add in some garlic powder, onion powder and paprika. I'm just gonna let that cook on low medium heat with the lid on it until all the liquids are cooked out. Now we're moving into cooking our bell peppers and our chicken. So right here, I just added some olive oil to my pan and I cut up my bell peppers and I'm just throwing those in there. I'm gonna cook those until they're almost done and then we're gonna throw in our chicken and we're also gonna cut our chicken up into little strips. I'm also going to be seasoning up my peppers with some minced onion just because my family doesn't really care for like real onion. So we still want the onion flavor so I'm just going to sprinkle in some minced onion so that we can still get the flavor without the texture of the onions. to season up your meat to season it i'm using some garlic powder onion powder paprika and some chili powder and then you cannot forget the lime juice the lime juice makes the difference in all the flavor so make sure you add in some lime juice you can use fresh lime juice or i'm going to be using like the lime juice that's in the little bottle but of course whatever just add some lime juice
let that cook like that until your chicken is no longer pink. And then we're gonna get to making our Velveeta queso cheese dip. So right there, I have that block of Velveeta queso blanco cheese. I'm gonna add in a half a cup of whole milk, and then I'm gonna add in one can of green chilies. I'm gonna let that kind of all melt down and simmer together, and it's gonna be the best cheese dip you'll ever eat. y'all right, so here's everything once it was all done like i said before this was my absolute favorite dinner from this week y'all fat rice with that cheese on it is so delicious you have got to try it so if you don't try anything else from this video i hope you'll at least give that queso a try because that stuff is so delicious also i really quickly wanted to mention that on the corn i just got some sour cream and some tahini seasoning in it so good like that y'all got to try your corn that way also and then on the next night, we kept it straight up Southern. It's what we know and it's what we love. So we're gonna have some barbecued chicken, some stewed squash, some macaroni and cheese for the kids, and some pears, mayonnaise, and cheese with the cherry on top. My nanny used to always make these for me and I loved and them. And then earlier in the day for lunch, I made some greens and cornbread and that was in a lunch video. If you wanna check it out, I'll link it down below. But right here, I'm just seasoning up my chicken legs and I season them with some garlic powder, some onion powder, some chicalica bam bam, and some paprika. Once I got all my chicken prepped and all seasoned up, I just put it into my baking dish and I'm covering it with some Kraft sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. And then we're gonna pop that in the oven on 350 for about 45 minutes. All right, y'all, so to make the pears, mayonnaise, and cheese, you'll need however many cans of pears that you need to feed your family. I wound up using a can and a half, and then we just kind of snacked on the rest that was left over. But you'll just place those in your plate, and the squeezed mayonnaise works the best, but of course, you can use the mayonnaise that you dip out with a spoon. It's whatever you prefer, but I found that the squeezed mayonnaise works best for me, and it's less mess, and the Duke's mayonnaise always tastes the best with the pears, so I highly recommend you using Duke's mayonnaise as well. But anyway, you'll just squeeze that onto each pear, and then you'll top with some shredded cheddar cheese, and and then your maraschino cherry. Then you'll just place those in your refrigerator and let those chill while you're cooking the rest of your dinner. For another side we're gonna do some stewed squash i found this perfect looking squash at my local piggly wiggly so i just had to grab them up and i said i'm gonna make some stewed squash for those so right here i am just cutting up my washed squash y'all i bet you cannot say washed squash three times fast that is a total tongue twister but anyway like i said i'm just cutting up my squash and then we're going to throw them in our skillet with some butter that i've got melting and we're just going to saute those up my family does not like like fresh onions so i'm just going to use some minced onion to give it the onion flavor because that's what makes them taste good but if you like onion of course cut you up some onion and cook that in there as well I don't know why the Pioneer Woman does not make a pot lid to fit on the skillets, but I had to improvise and I just used the big old pots lid that I had and it worked. They still stewed perfectly and here they are once they're all done. Back there I had some macaroni and cheese like I said for the kids and here is my barbecue chicken legs once they were out of the oven and then here is my beautiful pears, mayonnaise, and cheese with a cherry on top and here's everything plated up together. I hope y'all enjoyed this week's What's for Dinner video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already because I would really love for you to join my YouTube family. Thank you all so very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye y'all.